In this video, we're going to look at how we can continue using our Gmail, but it looks professional. Welcome, entrepreneurs, to African Multi Design. My name is Zanele, if we're meeting for the very first time. In this channel, we're dedicated to helping your small business grow and thrive online. So this session is all about helping your Gmail account to look not this way, but it must look professional and it must have your domain. Let's jump in and do this. So to start the process, you need to have a domain. Um, please check on the description below if you don't know how to get a domain, but uh, in order for you to forward your Gmail emails, from your business to your personal, you need to have a domain account. And we're gonna do that in three steps. The first step is for us to go to Improv and we're going to create an account on Improv. So let's jump in and do that. So from Google, you're going to search for improvmax.com and then you're going to type your domain where it says domain name and you're gonna type your email address where it forwards your emails, emails to because this website creates a forwarding tool that sends from your Gmail to your business account. So you then click on create an alias and then Improv will create an alias for you which forwards the emails to your Gmail. Awesome. So now they told us that they've sent a confirmation email. We need to go to our email address and have a look so that we can validate the account. And there we go. It says important, please validate your account. So you just click on the link to validate the improv account and it will confirm that it's um, validated. Now they wanna find out if you accept their terms and conditions. If you want to be spammed with their new features, you can tick that one. I don't want to. So I'll just click on validate um, my account and perfect now i'm gonna refresh the page and that's the first step let's go to step number two you are ready to set up these um, mx entries to your domain so what you need to do now is to go find out where your domain is so the first thing you need to do is to refresh this page it will refresh and then you can click on where it says step by step so let's click where it says step by step because now we need to con connect our domain to this mx email then awesome it has refreshed and now it shows us that we need to go to our domain service provider which is godaddy and then we need to connect so it will show you step one step two step three and step four meaning step one connect and then step two we need to um take those mx entries and load them to go to godaddy so i'm gonna click on godaddy and log in on my account you need to do the same and you log in on your account and once you're on your account you're gonna go to your product and you're gonna find your domain where it has been listed so you can scroll down to your domains. I have a couple because I design. You'd probably land on the first page that would show you your domain. So all you're looking for here is the domain that you want to have emails forwarded um, professionally. So we found the breakfast hampers. We're gonna scroll down to where it says manage DNS because that's where we can add our MX records. And these are the records that we would like to add the MX records to as well as that TXT entry that they say we must follow and do. So now we found the records that is, um, we went to GoDaddy, we found the records. And step number two is saying to us, if there are any MX entries that show on the GoDaddy page, you need to delete them in order for this to work. So let's quickly check. Are there any MXs on the list? None. So we're good to go. 
Number two, done and dusted. Number three, now it's asking us, add these MX entries to our record on the other side. So we're gonna go back to the domain and we're gonna click on this button that says add. And we want to add a first option is the MX record. Then you choose MX on there and you go back to the host. It says the host is at, you can control C if you want, or you can just type at. And then it says, where should it point to? We're gonna copy this record here and we're gonna paste it over there. And the next thing is priority is 10. We're gonna copy 10 or we can type 10 over there. And that's how they are instructing us to load the first MX record. We're good to go, we're happy, we click on save and the record shows over there. Now we do exactly the same for the second um, record. And you would add the add. You'd also copy that information where it needs to point to and the priority is 20. You copy the 20 there and you paste it where it says priority. Cool stuff. So both the MX records have been added there nice and easy. What's step number three? Step number three is the records done and dusted. Step number four, they're saying we need to add a TXT entry for the SPF support. So we need to copy this information and add the entry on our domain. So again, we click on add and we click on TXT and we go back. It says the host is at, we go back to at and the value is all of this information they've given us. So if you hover on the information, it does show that you can copy. So you see when you hover, it says copy. So you don't need to remember this or click and hold to try and copy that. Once you're done, you click add and save. So the MX are done, the TXT are done, we're happy. I like to refresh my pages so that I make sure that the information has been applied. And then that step number four is done. So the next thing we'll do is click on continue. And we clicked on continue. And now we need to click on check again. So as you can see, our email forwarding is active and we're good to go to set up the emails to be set um, for our Gmail account. We are happy and excited about that. We're gonna go back and set up our emails. That's the last step that we need to do. It's nice and green. I love green, I'm so excited. And now we need to um, set up the email forwarding. So you could then choose uh, the info at your domain or, sale, or sales at your domain or Zanelle at your domain, whatever um, name that you would like to have for the uh, improv to forward the emails to your Gmail account. So I've chosen sales at breakfasthampers.co.za uh, and to Sipo's email address. It has already highlighted that it's happy with the green. I'm gonna click on test to see if the email gets forwarded to um, Sipo's Gmail address. At Sipo's Gmail address, and we see that there is a testing email that has popped up from Improv MX, and it looks like it works perfect. So it um, the email says sales at hampers.co.za, and it works beautifully. So what's happening right now is that sales at breakfast uh, hampers.co.za is forwarding emails to sdombela178 at gmail.com and we've tested it and it works perfectly. So if the sales people or the email for sales work, that's nice. When SIPO responds 
and he responds to people. He's going to respond and the email that he's going to be sending to people is going to look like that. And we don't want that. It's, it shouldn't say um, S and Dombena because then it still doesn't look professional. So the last section that we want to do is to make sure that the emails that go in and out, um, they don't say S and Dombena when he responds, even though he's on his Gmail account, this S and Dombela 173, even though he's on that email, we still want when people get the mail, it must come back from sales. So that's the last thing we're going to do. Go to our part two of the tutorial we were going to use our uh, business account to send emails to. So in order to use the Google's SMTP service where we get 3000 emails every month for free, we need to set it up on our um, Google account. So in order to do that, you need to click on your icon and you need to go to manage your Google account so that you're able to access the Google account. Once you get there, look for less secure app so that you can access the less secure apps. You need to click on the less secure app. Once you've done this, then you will allow less secure apps. Just take note, if you have a two-way um, verification on your Gmail account, this option will not be available to you. The next thing you need to go back to your Gmail account because you would like to uh, set up the Gmail so that we can access the business account. Okay, so I'm going to leave the account and go back to the Gmail account and then uh, we need to set it up by clicking on the settings. Once you open this box, then you click see all settings and it will open all the Gmail settings. And once that is open, you click on accounts and imports. We need to go add another email address. So you're gonna click where it says add another email address and then this window will open up. So you want to put the name of the business there and not SIPA's name because you want it to be the business account. So I'm going to call it Escort Breakfast Hampers. And then the email address that we want to use would be the one that we've set up on Improv. Then you um, type it in over there. Then you click Next Step. And then this window opens up. So where it says SMT server, you will delete that and replace it with the Google SMT, smtp.gmail.com. And then the username, you log in with your um, Gmail details. So you're going to go smdombella173 or whatever your Gmail username um, is. And then you're going to put in your uh, Gmail login details and the password that you use when you log in on your Gmail. And then that should be it. Let me just type my... And then you click on add account. And then um, you could save it if you want. Then... Um, Gmail is saying congratulations, they have successfully added the details to this. And now we need to go look on the uh, emails to see if the email is received because, received because we need to verify this is us who are doing this change on our Gmail account. So I'm going to go to our inbox and there's the email confirming that they've successfully um, added the sales at breakfasthampers.co.za and they ask us to click on the link to confirm this is us and then we tell them yes it is us then they're like well done good for you you may now send emails as saleshampers.co.za to send emails you're going to get a different option that's available to you there's the SIPO email address, but here's the Escort Hamper email address. 
and you are now ready to send emails there we go here's our test email address we have received it from escort hampers from that email address we're going to respond and sales and we ask them when are they buying and we click on send and we're going to go back to Sipo's account just to check and see last checks if it works I'm gonna reload and there we go when are you going to buy and there's our email from our customer and we've received it to our escort sales hampers design and that is how you set up your gmail and you rebel you congratulations i hope you've enjoyed the session please consider subscribing i will be sharing more helping entrepreneurs do so much better with their businesses online i'll see you in the next video Thank you.